Hey there, so today we're going to do the gunnery tutorial here. Uh, you get 20k credits and 5,000 talent points, which is pretty cool. Now these are just meant to, you know, explain briefly and get you to try out Welcome basically the, the weapon system. So. Tutorial. I will teach you how to target constructs, shoot, reload weapons, as well as the different types of weapons and ammo. The large device outside is a laser cannon. Which Pretty is a cool. All around weapon. The small device in front of the laser cannon is an omnidirectional space radar. Without it, the gunner seats will not be able to see any targets. In the far corner, the gray device is an ammo container. It is linked to the weapon and serves as an ammo magazine. The gunner module is comprised of a seat and screen used to control all the previous components from a distance. It's where you can identify targets with the radar, load ammo in the weapon, and engage targets. Enter the gunner seat. To bring up okay. the user interface, hold the interact key. The left tier of the interface is where you find all the targets that can be seen by your radar. You can order targets by distance, size, and threat level. To do so, press on the highlighted button. In the context of this tutorial, keeping the order by ascending distance will make the most sense. Identify target A. It is in the aiming cone of the laser cannon. To identify the target, click on the yellow arrows next to its name. Identifying, identifying target. <laughs> That's cool. Of the voiceovers. Target identification complete. The identified targets will appear in this section of the interface. This is also where you select between identified targets to order your oh, weapons cool. to switch. This number represents the maximum number of targets. Bigger gunner modules and radars can handle more targets at the same time than this gunner module S. Just like in the unidentified targets window, you can organize your identified targets with the order by button. In order to fire upon the identified target, it has to be highlighted. If it is not, do so now. But the weapon target is already selected. loaded with ammo. Oh, there you go. Shoot it by pressing on the highlighted fire button. This is the periscope window. Well, that's so cool. You can see your selected target. In this case, it is quite easy to see the targets through the window. But in real world applications, the gunner module is best hidden behind several layers of protective armor. You can make the periscope view bigger by using this button. Pressing the button again will take you back to the normal <laughs> Do so now. That's it. Destroy it. This area lists all the weapons currently connected to the gunner module, and is where you can make them reload and start or stop shooting. This will count the number of weapons connected to the seat. This menu can be used to order your weapons. In order to see the view from your seat, press the cycle camera button. Oh, okay, insert. You can also see in third person by pressing on the button a second. Good, enjoy the view oh, that's for a cool. while, and then exit the seat. You need to cycle back to the user interface using the cycle camera button, and then use the highlighted close button to exit. Okay, there we go. Get a batch of ammo from the dispenser unmarked with a highlight. Walk up to it and press the interact key. There you go. Now, put the two different types of ammo into the ammo container. Once again, you can open it with the interact key. To put the ammo into the container, drag the ammo from your inventory on the left to the container with ammo inside the container. Return go. to the gunner seat. Hold the interact key to enter. After leaving the gunner module, you will lose identified targets. This is why it is crucial to have other players loading ammo for you in large ship combat. That makes Identify sense. Identify target again. Identifying target. So you're, if you play with friends, obviously target they can load the ammo for you while you do this. Highlighted. Load either type of ammo into the weapon. Reloading. When the weapon has finished loading. Target identification canceled. Oops. Identifying target. That was the get rid of button. Target, target selected. Good. Now you can shoot the remaining ammo. 
or exit the gunner seat whenever you want, we will head down to use more weapon types. Go oh. down using the highlighted elevator, stand in the circle and press the crouch key. Head to the highlighted weapon behind you. Oh, here we go. That's a cool this looking one. This is a railgun. This weapon system is made for long range engagements. The main drawback of the railgun is that it adjusts its aim very slowly. I will explain aiming cones in depth later. I'm more interested in whatever that is. Gun, the laser is a more balanced weapon type. While it can still reach great distances, it will track targets faster than the railgun. The oh, laser cool. is not directly powered and requires ammo in form of individual cells. Head to the weapons on the other side of the station. The cannon is a low to medium range fast shooting weapon that has decent target tracking capabilities. To the left of the cannon, the missile launcher is a short range weapon that is able to hit targets in a large area thanks to its self-adjusting projectiles. <laughs> the main drawback of this weapon system is its long reload time, making it more useful for burst damage. Oh, that's cool. Now, reach the screen I marked with a waypoint. These weapons use four different types of ammunition. Antimatter ammo is a complicated device that does significant damage to engines and some materials like titanium. It has been adapted to railguns and missiles. Casings are painted black. Thermic ammo works by transferring massive amounts of energy in the form of heat to whatever it hits. Lasers and cannons both have this type of ammo. As depicted on the right of the screen, it is painted red. Depicted here on the That's left, pretty cool. in blue, ammo with electromagnetic effects is excellent at damaging electronic components such as those found on weapons. It also reacts with some honeycomb materials. Railguns and lasers have both been adapted to use this type of ammo. Kinetic ammo, in orange, is the simplest to explain. Uh, more yellow. Mass with enough velocity will damage anything it hits. Cannons and missiles both use this type of ammo. Enter the seat link to the short range weapons by holding the interact key. Aim mm. cones are different for each weapon. They represent how much the barrel of a weapon is able to adjust before it can no longer be aimed at its target. Once a target is out of the aim cone, the weapon will pivot until it can shoot or is blocked by your own construct. Identify target B. It is in the aiming cone of the short range weapons. Identifying target. Target identification complete. Target selected. and missile launcher at target B. Yeah, that's cool. You can continue shooting at this target or exit the gunner seat UI. Cool. The combat's really cool. Never done the combat ever, so it's neat to see this. Enter the seat link to the long range weapons. It's a lot more like Eve style, you know, like the you click and target. I should say Eve style, like all, all the MMOs, like the older ones, but I like that instead of the whole oh yeah, it's just FPS, you know, boom boom boom. Each weapon has a different capacity cost on a gunner module. The railgun is the most expensive and the cannon is the least expensive. Identify target C. It is in the aiming cone of the long range um, weapons. Fortunately, you're not working properly. Let's redo that. There you go. Identifying target. Target identification complete. Fire both the railgun and laser at target. Target seat. selected. You can continue shooting at this target or exit the gunner seat UI. Oh yeah. Damn, that one was cool. Good. This concludes the gunnery tutorial. You can stay until you expend them all in mode or leave via the teleporter by using the interact key. That was a cool tutorial. I like that. So again. hopefully you guys enjoyed that. The lower level between the two and and uh, so you can replay it again if you'd like. Um, so there's your points. I don't know if you get points again if you do it again, but obviously you have a check mark here. So that's really cool. Yeah, it's just the one time, but there you go. You can use it again if you want to refresh it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.